Now this is a objective solved example, question number 17. Now uh, this is a kind of a uh, let, let's uh, let me go through the question first. Now we have to form a six digit numbers. Right, we have to form six digit numbers using all possible digits from 0 to 9. So it means we can repeat the digits also. So nothing mentioned means we have to use, we have to make six digit numbers using these digits means we can use them any number of times. Right. Right. In fact, it is it is not mentioned that we have to use uh, these digits. Just mention that we have to make a six digit number, and it means we have to use we can use any of the six digits, right? So so it means we can repeat digits any number of times. Now uh, the numbers we have to form the six digits numbers which we have to form should be divisible by five. Those numbers whose whose sum of the digits is divisible for five, right? So it's a it's a type of a quotient where uh, uh, where the digits we use to form a f uh, six digit numbers the six digits which we are going to use to form a six digit number the sum of these digits is divisible by five right so so if you have not done uh, such a question before you cannot do it it's not easy to do it very difficult to do it because there's a trick there's a method there's an approach to solve this question if you have not solved such, solved such question before you cannot do it so it means if you have understood this question you have to remember the idea you have to remember the trick if if trick slips out of your mind you cannot repeat your performance you cannot repeat this solution again so you have to remember the approach so the approach is that so so we uh, like we make a five digit number we, we, we just focus on five digit number we forgot about the divisibility by five then how many five digit numbers we can form with the help of a, any digit with the help using any digit from zero to nine the repetition is allowed we can fill this box in nine ways because we cannot fill this by zero and and uh, rest of the digits we can use to fill this we can fill it by one to nine but not zero so there are nine ways this one can be filled by any of the ten digits including zero so we can do it in 10 ways same here we can fill this box using any of the 10 digits from 0 to 9 so again we have 10 ways 10 ways and 10 ways right so this much number of 5 digit numbers we can form with the help of um, uh, these digits now we have we, we add the sixth digit on right of it now this time by, by adding this digit we'll make sure that <coughs> the sum should be divisible of 5 right now let, let's make cases if we have taken uh, these five in all possible ways there is a possibility that some of these five digits is multiple of k it is possible that some of these carrying it will be multiple of 5k then the last the next digit which we have to add so the sum is divisible by 5 can be 0 so that sum should remain divisible by 5 or it can be 5 these two right now <coughs> I'm this box we are adding this box so if it is multiple of 5 we can fill this box in two ways right ways 2 if it is multiple of 5 plus 1 multiple of 5 plus 1 right the sum is multiple of 5 plus 1 then to make uh, we have to choose last digit in such a way that the sum should remain multi div uh, should should become divisible by 5 it is not till now it is f one more than multiple of 5 so this digit will have to make this sum divisible by 5 so 5k plus 1 will add 4 to it so that 5k plus 1 plus 4 is multiple of 5 or it can be 9 so in 5 multiple of 5 plus 1 if we add 9 it becomes multiple of 5 it becomes divisible by 5 so again there are, there are two options we can fill this box in two ways so that sum is divisible by 5 next possibility is that when we sum of these 5 digits so it can be multiple of 5 plus 2 so this time to make multiple of 6 uh, to make sum of 6 digits diesel of 5 so last digit can be 3 or last digit can be 8 again two ways if it is 5k plus 3 again we have two ways either we add 2 to it or 7 to it so the sum is divisible by 5 two ways 5k plus 4 so last digit should be such that when we add that digit to this sum of first 5 it should make the sum divisible by 5 you know it is 1 
or it can be 6 again two ways so you can see that irrespective of what is the sum of these five digits used to fill these five boxes this is always two and this is you know in a fundamental principle of counting is what we say as independent number of ways to fill this box is, is always two independent of irrespective of what digits here you are using to to fill these five boxes so total number of ways is uh, this this much into two so 10 into 9 into 10 into 10 into 10 four times <coughs> and then we have two so it is 18 into 10 to the power 4 uh, I think it is H wise 